Our lives are easier when we turn the reins over. Running our lives on self-will means we don't have a navigator. We are in a high-powered vehicle, flying blindly into the abyss. We are going fast, and it is exciting, and we are blinded by our ego, thinking we are winning the race while we find ourselves way off course. We have a daily reprieve, contingent on the maintenance of our spiritual condition. Our HP is our guide. First, we'll start with a serenity prayer. Today's reading from the 24 Hours a Day book, a share, then the reading again in case you got distracted. Carpe the diem. Enjoy. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time, and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. Consider our very lives as ex-problem drinkers depend upon our constant thought of others and how we may help meet their needs. October 27th, thought for the day. 7th, I can help other alcoholics. I am of some use in the world. I have a purpose in life. I am worth something at last. My life has a direction and a meaning. All that feeling of futility is gone. I can do something worthwhile. God has given me a new lease on life so that I can help other alcoholics. He has let me live through all the hazards of my alcoholic life to bring me at last to a place of real usefulness in the world. He has let me live for this. This is my opportunity and my destiny. I am worth something. Will I give as much of my life as I can to Alcoholics Anonymous? Meditation for the day. All of us have our own battles to win. The battle between the material view of life and the spiritual view. Something must guide our lives. Will it be wealth, pride, selfishness, and greed? Or will it be faith, honesty, purity, unselfishness, love, and service? Each one has a choice. We can choose good or evil. We cannot choose both. Are we going to keep striving until we win the battle? If we win the victory, we can believe that even God in his heaven will rejoice. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may choose the good and resist the evil. I pray that I will not be a loser in the battle for righteousness. Our challenges are our blessings, our opportunities to face them and rise above them to be who we are meant to be. We handle adversity with composure, with faith in our higher power, that we together will successfully and maturely walk tall no matter how things are resolved. Our purpose now in sobriety is to stay sober and pass on the message of recovery and right living to the man who still needs it. We share how we did it with the assistance of others who came before us. If we can do it, so can you. We give credit to our higher power for giving us the opportunity to save our own lives by changing our attitude from selfishness to living to serve others and thereby finding a new peace and happiness. Getting out of the way of his splendor shining in us was a surprise benefit of putting the drink down permanently, one day at a time, through spiritual principles. We have recovered from a seemingly hopeless state of mind and body. We stay sober, contingent on the maintenance of our spiritual condition. When we slack on our prayer and meditation, selfishness creeps back in, and we may not notice it until we wake up with a hangover. Simple, not easy, the program is, because we complicate the straightforward program of recovery. Follow the few simple suggestions and we get the miracle. The grace of God does it for us. Paying it forward to the new prospect is fun and sobering when we stay on the battlefield, involved in service and making it about others. We thrive and pay homage to Bill and Bob's divinely inspired design for living. We pay back a debt that we can only make a small dent in. No dollar amount would suffice. It must come from the heart in helping others. We can't fake it. Our message must have depth and weight. Frothy emotional pill will not suffice. And it does when we tell our true experience of what it was like when we were out there, 
what happened to get us in the program, and what it is like now that we are living the steps in our lives after having a spiritual awakening as guaranteed in the big book. Living alcoholically was selfish and materialistic, and we believe it was how we measured success by accumulating money and victories in business, love, and whatever we decided would make us look good. Our ego drove the bus, and we almost died in the process. The 12-step program of AA gave us a new pair of glasses. Our lenses were in backwards, where before we only cared about ourselves. Now we find joy in other successes, and we revel in helping them. It was a slow, uncomfortable process in the beginning to change everything we knew about how to live life. But once we dipped our toe in the water of our higher power's vast ocean of wonders, we quickly acclimated to the righteous path. Now we keep our eye on the prize by aligning our wills with his will, by hitting our knees in the morning to ask for help, and when we retire at night to thank him for another successful day. We feel his presence throughout the day, and we rely on him to keep us right-minded. It works if we work it. Consider our very lives as ex-problem drinkers depend upon our constant thought of others and how we may help meet their needs. October 27th, thought for the day. 7th, I can help other alcoholics. I am of some use in the world. I have a purpose in life. I am worth something at last. My life has a direction and a meaning. All that feeling of futility is gone. I can do something worthwhile. God has given me a new lease on life so that I can help other alcoholics. He has let me live through all the hazards of my alcoholic life to bring me at last to a place of real usefulness in the world. He has let me live for this. This is my opportunity and my destiny. I am worth something. Will I give as much of my life as I can to Alcoholics Anonymous? Meditation for the day. All of us have our own battles to win. The battle between the material view of life and the spiritual view. Something must guide our lives. Will it be wealth, pride, selfishness, and greed? Or will it be faith, honesty, purity, unselfishness, love, and service? Each one has a choice. We can choose good or evil. We cannot choose both. Are we going to keep striving until we win the battle? If we win the victory, we can believe that even God in his heaven will rejoice. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may choose the good and resist the evil. I pray that I will not be a loser in the battle for righteousness. Carpe the diem, boys and girls. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.